Right now, people are worried about energy security. In the UK, we import both gas and electricity. However, as we move towards a hydrogen economy and we have more wind and solar, then we can actually become self-sufficient in energy. This cooperation agreement that we've announced with Equinor is really exciting. Under it, we're going to explore the possibility of turning the Easington Terminal into a low carbon hydrogen production facility. We have worked with Centrica for many years and we are strengthening our relationship through this cooperation agreement, exploring the use of low carbon hydrogen to reduce the site's emissions. It also supports a wider ambitions across the Humber, including hydrogen production at Date Strait Salton, hydrogen storage at Alborough, and hydrogen power at Kiwi. So Easington is unbelievably well placed. It's where the gas comes in, it's where the hydrogen is required. It will really help not only the Humber area, but the UK achieve its net zero targets. The region will be at the forefront of industrial decarbonisation over the coming decades, helping the UK to achieve net zero while securing economic opportunities for future generations. As with any fuel, you've got to have storage. The rough field can become the world's largest single hydrogen storage facility at the heart of the UK's hydrogen transition. The Easington side is critical to the Zero Carbon Humber and East Coast Cluster infrastructure, which will connect these projects together. One of the great things about us pursuing hydrogen in the UK is that we can yet again become a net energy exporter, creating tens or hundreds of thousands of jobs and really helping to boost the UK economy. Through our partnership, we can continue to lead the way in industrial decarbonisation, boosting the economy, attracting investments and moving towards a low carbon future.